Yo, what is up, AD team? Austin Dunn back again with another video. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to get any girl, that girl you're trying to pursue right now, to chase you. So in my last video, I talked about how as guys, we should attract and not chase. As a man, you must attract, not chase. Never wanna chase women. But for the woman, it's better if they are chasing us. Just the dynamics of the relationship will be a lot better if she is chasing you, but you need to have some things in place and do these exact things if you want that to happen. Trust me, I've had a lot of women chase me over the past few years or so, so definitely take these tips. But before we get into that, um, as you probably noticed, probably not, but I'm in a new place. I spent the past week or so just moving all my new stuff to this new apartment and some of you guys have asked for it. I've seen in the Instagram comments and my stories at Austin underscore Dunham. But I'm gonna show you a little apartment tour as we're talking about this. So right now, as you see, we are in the living room. Let me quickly just show you what we got going on. You see this corner right here? This is my favorite corner. We got the Black Panther um, helmet. We got a nice green plant. And then we're sticking with the same gold to black type of color tones in this living room. But before we get too deep into the apartment stuff, let's go to the first point. All right, so in order to get a girl to chase you, you gotta remember the terms of hypergamy. Girls always are pursuing what's better than them. So what that means is that she has to see your value as greater than hers. Overall, you have to bring something that she sees valuable and better than her, and she has to be aware and know that in order for her to chase you. She is not gonna chase anybody who brings anything less than her or if she sees your um, value lower than hers. That is why we always have to keep leveling up. And another thing to remember is that some women will never chase you. Believe it or not, some are just too prideful, too stubborn, too I know my worth type of woman, so it's not gonna happen. You can, you can hit all these points on this list and it's still not gonna happen. All right, so you guys have seen the living room. It's very, very simple, open floor plan type of deal. Now. Let me show you my room. I pretty much kept it the same exact way. You already know the business meeting bed right there. Lots and lots of meetings <laughs> were held there and a lot of money has been made, let me tell you. But guys, the first thing to make a girl chase you is that you must indirectly imply that you have options. Have you guys ever heard the term, women want to be with a guy that other women want to be with and that other guys want to be. The first one, other women want to be with, that's why you must indirectly imply you have options. You don't want to like throw it in her face like, oh, look how many girls I'm seeing, look how many girls want me. But they have to know deep down that you are desired by other girls. And the way you do that, like I said in my last video, is by implementing a social media uh, strategy. And the way I do this is by all my stories, I'll post that I'm out to eat, but I never show who I'm out to eat with. Even if I'm with one of my guy friends or whatever, I'm not gonna show them because that gets them wondering in their head, like who is he out to eat with? Or I dress up in a nice outfit, where is he going? Or me reposting different things about girls reposting me or girls taking pictures with me, whatever it may be, I'm always indirectly implying that I have options to let them know that I am selected. I'm a pre-selected guy. So social media strategies is important from that last video. And the second thing is that other guys want to be. So that is attractive because it shows that you have ambition, you're motivated, you're driven. And when she sees that other guys want to be like you, that makes her like you even more. So you guys actually helped me alongside with that by liking my pictures, commenting, um, how I've been inspiration or whatever the case may be. So I highly appreciate that. Go ahead. Keep doing it, Austin underscore Dunham. It's helping out a lot, and I really don't even do it for the woman or to get women to chase me. Just know that it's gonna help. All right, so now we're in the bathroom. This is my first time that I've had to get a shower curtain, which I don't even have one yet. But um, let me take a look. Got this little nice butt piece. Guys, I, I discussed this on my Patreon before about decorating but you wanna have little accent pieces that are a little funny. I always get comments on this nice butt. And most of the people who sit down here is true. <laughs> so 
Maybe I found that on Amazon, you can find it too, wherever the case may be. But the second way to get a girl to chase you is that you must give her an experience whenever you guys are together. Now, I got this from AMS and being around my other red pill friends, right? And this is if you wanna keep a girl specifically in your rotation of women, or like I said, get her to chase you. And the way you give women an experience is by just doing fun things, doing fun activities, doing things they've never done before. Um, taking risks, going out on adventures, doing stuff that you usually wouldn't do, and just having an overall good time. You don't wanna just stay in the house all the time, just whine and chill. Like, at first that's cool, if you haven't, you know, yeah, but after that, like, you gotta be giving them an experience if you want them to stay around, and if you want them to chase you. Because even, God forbid, but even if they don't even like you, or they don't want to spend time with you, they're still going to chase you and want to spend time with you because it's fun to be around you. They always do fun things with you and they just overall have a good time. So don't be afraid to give them an experiment. And this also plays into the acts of FOMO, which is fear of missing out. And also you're driving their emotions, right? So keep that in mind. So the good thing about having a two by two is that you have a second bathroom, in fact, that I never use. Let's go ahead and take a look what's in here. So I got this, I haven't even hung it up yet. It says, no matter how you feel, get up, get dressed up, show up and never give up. Never give up guys. And then let's see what else we got here. We have a tease box. You guys already know what this is. This is my daily skincare routine that I've been using for three years now. I'm gonna stop saying two because it's actually been three years. And guys, T. Chanley is a sponsor of this video because not only will it make your skin clear, but it is gonna help women chase you because if you have the best skin out of all her options, best believe she'll probably pick you. And believe it or not, girls value skincare. And when I actually talk with them about my skincare routine and different products, that actually becomes a topic of interest and engaging. And sometimes I even help them with their skincare routine. But I don't put them on T. Chanley because this is meant for us guys and only us guys out there. So T. Chanley makes skincare uncomplicated and simple. The reason why I love it is because one, you'll get the face wash, this is a daily face wash that I use two to three times a day. From there, you'll get your super serum. This avoids fine lines and wrinkles. You wanna use it after your face wash. And then your eye serum, let's say you got dark under eyes or baggy eyes, puffy eyes in the morning, this is gonna help with that. And then lastly, you follow up with your moisturizer. Now, depending on the time of day, I'll use the AM moisturizer because this has an SPF. And even if you're a black guy, you always wanna use the SPF guys, always. And then from there, at night, I'll use the PM moisturizer. So like I said, I've been using this for three years now, and they don't only have just the skincare line that I'm showing you here. They have other products that are geared towards acne, body wash, and a lot more other products coming soon. So if you want one to chase you even more, and you don't have a skincare routine, then I'm gonna use you to hop on the T. Chanley train and check the link down below in the description to where you can get your first box at an amazing deal alongside with a free gift. So check them out. We'll go ahead and put this back. We just know T. is in every single room of this house. All right, the next step to make a girl chase you is that you gotta show that you are not afraid to walk away. What this does is at the beginning of the tip is that it implies that you have options and that you are in abundance. So you really don't care if she stays or leaves. And you usually wanna do this if a girl is constantly disrespecting you or she's not following by your program. If you show that you're so willingly easy to walk away and that she can't be replaced at the drop of a hat, she's actually gonna be into you more. Despite what they say, despite, oh, it's just so easy for you to walk away, you act like you don't care, I promise you, if you show that, they will chase you. But like I said at the beginning, some women won't chase you no matter how high value or no matter how willing you are to walk away. It just depends, but it is definitely gonna help out if you show how abundant you actually are. And you truly have to be in abundance, guys. You can't just like act like you wanna walk away, but you really don't. You gotta put your foot down and actually walk away. Because sometimes, or actually most of the time, in order to get a woman's respect, you have to walk away at least one time. All right, the last point, guys, in order for a woman to chase you is that you have to be her best option. If you're not her best option, then she has no reason to chase you. 
you either have to be her best option or she has to be emotionally invested in you to a certain point after a while. And that usually comes with time, obviously. So if you're dealing with an attractive chick nowadays, let's say she's an eight or above, she's gonna have a ton, ton, ton of high value options. So if you're not there, then it literally doesn't matter. You just gotta keep working and build yourself to be the best option. But truth be told, this is gonna depend on your geographical location, the type of chicks you're dealing with, their age. A lot of variables play a part into this, but I'm always striving to be a chick's best option. And I know that. I know that any girl I deal with, they're not messing with anybody who is on my level, so to speak, unless they're dealing with athletes and or entertainers, which, I have been with women who have been with professional athletes, NBA players, NFL players, being flown out the whole nine. So always try to be the best option. And that is all the points on how you get a woman to chase you because we attract, we don't chase. And that's pretty much it. So check out the dating funnel ebook guys. Over a thousand of you got it in the last video. Trust me, if you want dates, more dates with less BS, you're gonna want this free ebook just released. Check it out. And also check out Teach Handley down below. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. I gotta get back to moving and organizing. Peace.